Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic we're going to cover the square root of complex numbers. In this topic, we will review the square roots of real numbers. We will find the square roots of a complex number and define one to be the principal square root. We will look at the geometric interpretation and observe a property. Note that if x is a positive real number, then it has two square roots. The square root of x, which is greater than zero, if we square that, we get x. And if we also square the negative of the square root of x, square that entire expression, we still get x. Similarly, uh, we now know that if we multiply the square root of x by j and square that entire expression, we get negative x. And similarly, if we square the negative square root of x times j, then we also get a second root of negative x. The question is, what is the square root, or what are the square roots, of 3 plus j? Solution. Well, if z is equal to the magnitude of z phase theta, then for w to be the square root of z, then it's required that w squared is equal to z. Suppose that w is equal to its magnitude phase phi. If w squared, which is the expression we see here, which is the magnitude of w squared phase 2 phi, if that is equal to the magnitude of z phase theta, then that requires that the magnitude of w squared must equal z and 2 phi must equal theta. Thus, the square roots are plus or minus the square root of the magnitude of z phase theta over 2. We will define the principal square root to be that root that has the greatest real component, and if the real components are equal, the root with the greatest imaginary component. This is easier if you just consider the polar representation. In writing z, if we require that theta is greater than negative pi and less than or equal to pi, in that case we can define the principal square root of z as the square root of the magnitude of z phase theta over 2. Notice that this definition continues to work for real numbers given the answer we expect. If z is a positive real, then z is equal to alpha plus 0j or alpha phase 0. Thus, the square root or the principal square root of z would simply be the square root of alpha. The other root is the negative of the principal root, which is negative square root of alpha. It also continues to work for negative numbers. If z is a negative real, then z is alpha phase pi for an appropriate positive real alpha. Thus the square root of z is equal to the square root of alpha phase pi over 2, which is the square root of alpha times j. The other root is the negated square root of alpha times j. As an example, if z is equal to 1 plus j, it's equal to the square root of 2 phase pi over 4. Therefore, the square root of z is the, expression, is the square root of the square root of 2 phase pi over 4 divided by 2. That's equal to the fourth root of 2 phase pi over 8. And don't worry about the math, but we can actually find that to be this expression here. And if we evaluate it, we get that that is approximately equal to 1.0987 plus 0.4551j. Let's look at the geometric interpretation. In the first quadrant, we see z is equal to 1 plus j. The principal square root of z is also in the first quadrant, and its additive inverse is in the third quadrant. Similarly, in the third quadrant, we see w is equal to negative 2 minus j. Its principal square root is in the fourth quadrant, 
and its magnitude is the square root of the magnitude of w, its angle is half the angle of w. Similarly, the other square root of w is in the second quadrant, and it's just the additive inverse of the one we found in the fourth quadrant. So here's a property. Theorem. The magnitude of the square root of z is equal to 1 if and only if the magnitude of z is equal to 1. That says, the square root of a complex number on the unit circle remains on the unit circle. Proof. Well, the square root of the magnitude of z is equal to z if and only if the magnitude of z is equal to the magnitude of z squared by squaring both sides. This is true if and only if the magnitude of z is equal to 0 or the magnitude of z is equal to 1. But of course, if the magnitude of z is equal to 0, that's true if and only if z is equal to 0, so therefore it must be that the magnitude of z is equal to 1 in the case above. In this topic, we've introduced the square root of complex number. Given any non-zero complex number z, there are two numbers that when squared equal z. We define 1 to be the principal square root, that is, it's the square root of the magnitude of the number we're trying to find the square root of, and the angle is half the angle if the angle is between negative pi and pi. We also saw that the square root of complex numbers on the unit circle remain on that unit circle. Here are some references, acknowledgments, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!